Hello, and it's me, Tina, again from Lakeshore Academy. I'm coming here today basically just to answer a question that is on many homeschooling moms, mine or dads who are homeschooling also. Um, what to do if you have health problems? Um, is it possible for me to homeschool and I'm sick or am I disabled? Well, the question is yes, you can. Don't let your health stop you from homeschooling. If you feel that's the best option for you and your children, then do it. Because it is possible to homeschool because you're talking to a person or rather listening to a person who has multiple health problems. I have been always I have always had health problems. They are progressively getting worse as time goes on which is a natural progression of life. Even if you wasn't sick, you'll gradually get sick eventually most of the time. Um, I deal with stuff from fibromyalgia. I have asthma. I have heart condition. Um, in and out of diagnosis, they say I have lupus. Then they'll take it back and say I don't have lupus. But I have a lot of different... I have lupus-like syndrome. So I have a lot of different health issues that I have to deal with from a day-to-day -day basis. But still, I can homeschool and I can do it very efficiently and how I do it by planning ahead even a sick person has some days where they feel a little bit better than us although they might still be sick they can function a little bit more so on certain days use those days to prepare for the days when you can't do as much I encourage you to do that so much because when you do it'll help the process of teaching to keep on going even when you're not all the way there your children will still know what to do how to do and all that and the one thing that I did do for both of my children I made them these three ring binder notebooks that for each child it has all the subjects reading math social studies language everything that we have to do legally to uh, to homeschool it have all the subjects in here uh, along with guides to help them, like if they um, don't understand certain stuff, guides to help them understand. I also have, each child has their own schedule. Their own schedule from Monday through Friday. And it tells them what they're supposed to have done, what they're supposed to do, and everything. Um, and also, I have their everyday chores. I have their everyday um the websites that they go on to do for educational purposes, um, I have those and their username and password so they'll know how to do it without me being there coaching them through the way. I have um, math, um, different stuff that they do, language, writing, all type of things. Another thing that I also do is over here. Come on, Isaiah, follow me, please. Okay. Okay. these these are folders you don't have to come up so close you oh. okay folders it has their name on it they can pick it it has days of the week i have different things that i would like for them to do different days of the week when they run out of stuff in the notebook but usually i refill it regularly but if the case happened where i can't i also have a plan b c d they every day they have work sheets have the worksheets that they can do have tasks have different things that is that I have out for them that they can actually do. I also have, look at me, baby. I also have different um, websites, YouTube videos, um, different things on the Roku player that I have already designated for them to watch, to do documentaries, um, bi biographies, um, oral presentations on when I physically can't do as much as I would like to do to sickness. So, and they actually, while I'm in the bed, they will actually come and give me a dictation or we'll actually watch it together. They have things they have to write out um, that they do. We, I have everything planned out now. Plan C and D. If they need something else in case they get bored because they don't have enough things to do. I also have curriculum books that they can go to, handwrite different stuff like that. Um, that they do, which is right here. Um, I also have a whole lot of different documentaries that's not on the TV um, that they can actually pop in the DVD from PBS and different things like that. Back up, please. Thank you. 
that they can watch. Um, that's already prepared for them. All thing they need to do is pull the information and do it for themselves. Um, and also, of course, I have my Bible things that I do with them. And all these things. I, I actually have worksheets, three reminders that have different things on there that they can answer questions about and take them directly to the Bible. Um, so, what I would like to just say, hold the camera up, babe. He's, my son is trying to learn how to operate the camera, so if it's a little shaky or wobbly, it's because he's just learning. But I guarantee he'll be better with it in the I next couple good videos. At it. Yeah, you're good, but you want to get better. But I, anyway. I did good all those other times. Okay, well, anyway, let me finish this thing before I run out of time. Okay. Isaiah. Thank you, baby. Okay. Um, over here in the music area. Let's go. Over here in the music area, I also have different little things that they can actually do on their own. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, what I'm trying to do... Camera here, please. Thank you. Basically, what I'm trying to do with them is trying to um, make them more independent learners. Um, I'm here mostly as a guide. Yes, I do instructional. I do um, literature, um, lecture and different stuff like that. In my homeschool curriculum, we do a lot, 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 lots of hands-on learning because they're, they're dealing with audio and visual. They audio children, they visual children. So we do a lot of hands-on activities which help them to be able to absorb the information better. But my point to you is do not allow sickness or sickness of yourself or sickness of a family member to stop you from homeschooling if that's what your heart desires for you to do is to homeschool your children because there are ways to get around it. You also can have friends and family members um, who know how to do a certain thing, speak a different language. Um, the library offer free classes all the time over here and even in the county um, next to mine. So sign them up in classes that's free you don't have to always spend money um have your family members that's really really good at something they can be good at fixing cars good at drawing have them teach them a certain craft it's so many things that you can do in order to keep yourself on that homeschool journey and you can be able to do it successfully without worrying about oh what i'm going to do when i'm sick just prepare and instruct your children on your good days how to do things when mommy or daddy's not feeling as well and i guarantee that your children will be good and they'll be self-learners they'll be very independent learners my child my son is in the fourth grade which in fourth grade those skills are not developed in public school but he is a very independent learner when i'm sick he knows what to do because i already explained to him we already went through it my daughter she in the sixth grade she just does all her homework. She even, not homework, she does all her activities without me even telling her and work to the point that she even makes up her own projects. She even do book reports. She do extra stuff on her own. So teach your children independence and teach them how to follow directions when you're not always as there as you would like to be. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Thank you for coming to my channel. And I want you to know that you can homeschool, although being sick. I'm doing it. And I have a lot of help and prayers that's helping me along the way. And I'm, being, I'm successful, so I know you can be successful. So have a good day. Bye.